It's day 14 of the animation challenge. Let's get started. Today, it seems like a really simple one, but really quite effective and can be used in totally different ways and that is this simple drop text animation and you'll see that there is quite a few pages but we need this number of pages to really get this effect to work so i'm just going to recreate it just now start off with the slide format video which is 1080 by 1920 i just selected a recent image i wanted quite a dark background but not completely black just to give a bit of interest into the background and I'm just going to select replace background so it fills that area for us and we need to start off by typing in our text so I'm using the font I'm using the font collective and I'm going to type in drop for this effect to work we can't have the word all in one text box so I'm going to copy and paste it four times so that we can just have one letter within a text box at a time and this is so we can get the different timings and then we just need to realign them so they are in the correct place select them all and i'm going to make sure they are centered in the middle of the frame i'm going to copy this frame and this time i'm going to select the letters and i'm just going to drag them up to the very top of the page so that you don't see the letters but their frames are still slightly on the page and this is so we don't lose them when they drop off the artboard. I'm just going to drop this down in length to about 0.7 just now. We're going to duplicate this page again. And then this time we'll take the first letter, which is letter D. And we'll drag it down until we see this red line which shows us we're in the centre point. And we are going to add a transition. And it'll be match and move. And you can see now when we drag this across that the D is now dropping into place. We will then duplicate the second page and this time drop in the letter R, repeating the transition, match and move. Again, duplicate the third page and then we will drop down the O, get that centre point and repeat the process, match and move. And then we'll bring in our last one. This has got the middle, again our match and move. So now when we play this, we should have the drop all falling into place. Now you'll notice that we've got the middle three have changed to 0.3 and the last two are 0.5 so the middle ones will drop a bit too fast. We can tweak this but I'm going to add in the rest of the transitions and then tweak the timings at the end. So this time I'm going to duplicate when we have all of them there and this time we'll go in the order so we've got the d add in our match and move and then they start to fall off the page down at the bottom duplicate again this time take the r down and we're doing the exact same steps as we did before adding in our match move transitions and then our last letter and if i play this now you'll see the timings aren't quite right you'll see it goes really fast and i forgot to add the transition here which is why that p just dropped off the edge of the page there so make sure we've got our matching moves and now we need to slightly manipulate the timings so i'm going to keep the first page on the point five and again our second third and fourth page but this one here which has all the letters i want that to have a bit of a pause before they start to drop off again so i'm going to make this much longer at 1.2 and then this one, this 1.5. So now when I play it, you'll see the timings are much better and they align more smoothly. So again, this seems like a really simple animation. However, there's lots of ways we can incorporate that into our designs or a short video animation. And really, when we want to emphasise one word, it can really be quite impactful, but it's still a really useful technique to know.